What's up? What's happening, Broncos fans? I'm David Gentili alongside Alyssa Anderson. We're going to get ready to take a look at some game film today from last Thursday's match against the Portland Pilots. And Alyssa, before we dive into this, let's go ahead and set the table by having you talk about what your responsibilities are as a setter on the volleyball team. So the setter is one that really calls out the plays and organizes the whole team on the court. I tell the hitters what they're going to hit. I really talk with the coaches about, you know, what are we going to be scheming against the other team, blocking, and really just organize the whole team. All right, let's roll that tape. At center, a senior from Hermosa Beach, California, number seven, Alyssa. So you're out there, Alyssa, your name is called, you're ready to go on the baseline, but you said you as a team have some good pre-match routines that help you get ready to go. Yeah, as a team, we really like to stay focused. So once we're in the locker room, we all put our phones in a box and just blast music and really get in the zone and get ready to compete out there. So the footage we got of Alyssa and the volleyball team was from last Thursday's match against the Portland Pilots. And Alyssa, talk about that game. What were the takeaways for you and the team? Uh, we knew Portland was a very scrappy team. They're going to make us work for it. So we just had to stay focused and defense and blocking was a big thing. And we just had to run our offense fast and um, compete really hard to make every play count, which we did. So it was a good match for us. So one thing that is unique to every volleyball player is their pre-serve routine. Alyssa, talk a little bit about yours, what you're trying to do mentally with your pre-serve routine. Um, so first I just kind of hit the ball a couple times, get in a rhythm, and I like to look across the net at who I'm serving, what spot I'm serving, and then just try to hit it hard. So when you're trying to pick out a spot across the net, how much of scouting and knowing the other team goes into that decision? Um, when we watch film before, uh, our coaches definitely tell us, you know, what servers to serve, when to serve them. And then also on the bench, we have coaches telling us, like, to remind us, hey, serve area one. And that, that take, that's a lot of it. I want to serve their weakest passer. And Alyssa, as a setter, you're one of the positions on the court that really has a lot to do. Very important responsibilities, as you mentioned, with communication, but also being in the right place at the right time and really helping your team out to get the best plays possible going. This sequence of highlights is kind of about how tough it can be to play the position because how much you have to do. Yeah, I mean, the setter obviously has to get the second ball, so wherever our diggers touch the first one we have to run after it and put up a hittable set for our hitters which can be really difficult and we also have to stay back on defense and dig and when I'm in the front row I have to block their big outside so there's a lot of things to think of during the match. A lot of things to have to know how to do and how much goes into the actual process of point by point and even touch by touch deciding where you're going to go with the set. I mean, I think I've been playing volleyball enough that when you're in the game, you're just kind of flowing and you don't really think that much. But definitely during timeouts, you I talk with John a lot and he tells you, you know, you should be doing this or on the block, you know, go a little more inside. And so it's a lot of things to think about. But when you're playing, it's just it's fun out there. Alyssa, you mentioned that one of your important roles is a key communicator out there on the court. And one of the things you have to do is be in constant communication with your head coach, as we see here. Yeah, John's my setting coach, so he really talks to me a lot. He talks to me about what setters um, we think we should set more, if they're on a roll, you know, on off plays, who I should be setting, you know, if they're following our middles, maybe try to pretend like you're going to set the middle and then go backwards. So it's a constant communication about where we should be setting. And this particular shot is of quite a long conversation you had with your coach after one of the sets against Portland. What are you two talking about here? Uh, Portland was really looking at me and reading where I was going to set, so I had to be more deceptive with my setting and make sure my hitters have one-on-one uh, -on -one opportunities, and that really helped us um, compete against Portland. Also, there's a lot of court coverage for you, and some of that has to do with your release points, where you're starting out pre-serve based on where you are in the rotation and where you have to be to help your team win the point. Yeah, um, every rotation, one through six, I have to start somewhere new, behind someone, if I'm in the front row, then in front of someone. So it really, I have to be fast and get to my spot quick in order to uh, set the ball up. And on this particular shot, we ISOed your team's half of the court just to show how much goes on. I mean, there's so much precision in volleyball with digs and sets. There's so much power with the spikes, but also a lot of movement that goes on, and you have to react quickly in a short amount of time to be where you need to be. Yeah, after every time I touch the ball, I have to hustle back and get back to base, get ready to dig. If I don't dig, then I have to look where the ball is hit and then 
run from there. So that's a lot of movement and constant um, running around the court. Alyssa, you're a senior on this team, and one of the important things to do as a senior is provide positive encouragement, good leadership for your teammates, as we see here by quite a few high fives throughout the match. Yeah, high fives are a big part of the match. I mean, after every play, you know, high five someone, let them know that, hey, like, great job or nice try or something. So it's really big encouragement. After you mess up, it's nice to have your teammates come up to you and know that it's okay. And in a sport where things are moving so fast, and a lot of times, it's not to say it's a bailout situation where you say, you know, it's not your fault because that was just a great hit, but that source of encouragement can be huge to keep you guys going with momentum being so big in these matches. Yeah, and especially we have a lot of freshmen on the court, so, you know, it's nice to, it's a way to connect with them and really get them involved, and, I mean, high fives are just a huge part of the game. Alyssa, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I think we had a pretty good film study session. And thank you as well, Bronco fans, and go Broncos.